In this video, we are going to be talking about the various thermodynamic processes. So, process, what does that mean? It gives the path or operation by which there is a change of the system from one state to another. Let's say, for example, a system goes from state A to state B. Okay, so the system moved from A to B. Then this path is given by the process. Okay, so generally when you have a thermodynamic process taking place, you have a change in one of the variables. For example, there could be a change in pressure, there could be a change in temperature, there could be a change or exchange of matter taking place. So to make things easy or rather to understand the process in a much more detail, what happens is they tend to keep one of the variables constant. Okay, so from that they study the other variables and they figure out what other changes taking place with those variables. So here we have seven basic processes. Okay, the first is isothermal. So here in this particular type of process, you have the temperature as constant. So temperature is kept constant. So this is the constant variable. Okay, and that's the temperature of the system remains constant. And heat is either supplied or removed from the system. Next is the adiabatic process. Here, there is no change in heat. So, there will be no exchange of heat between the system and the surroundings. Okay. And so, there is no heat that will leave the system or there will be no heat that comes into the system. The third is the isobaric process. Here, the pressure stays constant. The next is isochoric process. Here, the volume will remain constant. So, the first four, you have one particular thing is staying constant. The next three, fifth one is the cyclic process. So this basically means that you have A could be converted to B, B to C, C to D and D is back to A. So there is a cycle happening. So even if there, there are multiple changes that take place, the system comes back to the original state. And that is a cyclic process. Even if there are a thousand steps and the system comes back to the first one, Maybe that's not a good uh, example. Maybe there are like five steps and the system comes back to the first one. Then it's called a cyclic process. Next is a reversible. Now, reversible as in, suppose we have a system undergoing a change from A to B. Okay. Now, with a slight change of the conditions, I can convert B back to A. This is a reversible process. And for a system, even if I try to convert now, A converted to B. No matter what I do to B, if B is not getting converted to A, that's an irreversible process. Okay. So, these are the various thermodynamic processes. Isothermal, you have a temp temperature is constant. Adiabatic, there is no heat change or there is no change in heat. So, you don't have heat leaving the system or getting into the system. Isobaric is where the pressure stays constant. Isochoric is when volume stays constant. Cyclic is when there are a multiple set of processes taking place and then ultimately you get back the system in the initial stage. That's a cyclic. Reversible, when A gets converted to B in the system, we can convert the or when the system goes from A to B, we can convert it back from B to A by a change in, um, you know, conditions. So that's a reversible one. Irreversible is no matter what you try to do, B will not get converted to A. So those are the different thermodynamic processes. We will, in the next video, we will be learning more about uh, the basic thermodynamic terms.